Okay, welcome to this video. In this lesson, I'm going to talk to you about the optimal angle to launch a projectile to maximize the range in a ground-to-ground -ground flight. And this is only for a ground-to-ground -ground flight situation. There's other situations that we have with projectiles, like if we're launching a basketball, uh, if, we're, if we're shooting a basketball above our head and it's going to a different height, this does not apply. Uh, this is just the most basic application here to determine the best angle that we would have with a projectile to maximize the range. And the range is the distance that it travels like this. The range is that horizontal distance, okay? And I know that's a little confusing because in math, the range is the y values, right? But in physics, we just decided to call the range the x values just to confuse you. How about that? Anyway, that's your range. I want to find the best angle to do that. And we know that this is going to follow some type of a par parabolic trajectory. Okay, so it's going to make a symmetrical situation, and it's going to keep going down towards this point here eventually. Let's just pretend like that's a symmetrical parabola, even though it's not. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to start with my derivation down here. And I'm going to begin with the range equation. I defined the range equation earlier, and in another video, if you want to check it out, you can see it. Uh, but basically, the range equation is basically defining the range of a projectile when launched from a ground-to-ground -ground situation. So delta x in the range equation, or the range, is going to equal v initial squared sine 2 theta over g. Okay, And so that's the, the range of a projectile launched with an initial speed here of v0, let's say it's launched with v0, with this angle here, and it's going to tell you the range. And g is just going to be the acceleration due to gravity. Okay. So the first thing that I want to do here is I want to optimize this. Okay. So I want to find a maximum or a minimum. So I'm going to take the derivative of the uh, displacement, or I can just call that position if I'm starting from zero. So I can just call that dx over d theta. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the derivative of this. These two are constants, so they're going to come out. So I have v initial squared over g, okay? And I'm going to take the derivative of sine 2 theta. Derivative of sine is cosine, so cosine 2 theta, okay? And I also have a chain rule here, so I would have to chain that out and say times 2, okay? So my derivative with respect to theta, dx d theta, is going to equal 2vo squared over g cosine 2 theta. And what I'm going to do is I want to find the maximal value for that, so I'm going to set that derivative equal to 0. So I'm going to say 2vo squared over g cosine 2 theta is going to equal 0. zero. Okay. Now, these are going to cancel out, right, because I'm just going to divide those over. Those are just going to drop out. So I'm going to end up, because I'm going to divide them by 0, and drive, you know, divide 0 by those, they're going to disappear. So I'm really going to end up with this. Cosine 2 theta equals 0. And I'm going to have to take the inverse cosine, inverse cosine of each side, inverse cosine of cosine 2 theta equals the inverse cosine of 0. Now let's think about something here. Where is the inverse cosine defined? Where is that defined? Because remember, they're defined in different regions. So I'm just going to give you a little review here. The inverse cosine okay, is going to be defined uh, basically in this region right into here. So this is where your inverse cosine is defined okay, from 0 to pi. okay, And this is pi over 2 here. Well, this is going to be 90 degrees, okay? And so the cosine is really the x, va the x value, right? So we're really asking the question here, uh, where is the x value 0? Okay, so this one's going to cancel out. The inverse cosine of cosine is going to give me 2 theta. And right here, the inverse cosine of 0 is going to be 90 degrees. Because remember, on the unit circle, right, let's pretend like that, that's really a good-looking circle, even though it's not. 1 comma 0 is right there. This is going to be 0, 1, and this is going to be negative 1, 0. So I'm really looking for that, where is the x value 0? The x value is 0 right here at 90 degrees, OK? So you might say, oh, it's 90 degrees. Launch it straight up in the air. No, that's not what it is, because that's 2 theta. 
theta is going to equal 45 degrees, and that's your angle to maximize the range of a, of a projectile launched uh, from a ground-to-ground -ground flight. Okay, so 45 degrees will give you your maximum range. Now you can do this empirically. You can plot the graphs. Uh, you can plot the data points on a graph. You can determine. You'll you'll get a, a symmetrical um, outcome from this. So that's another video that I'm going to go into to show you how to do that. But basically, 45 degrees will give you your maximum range. And again, this is ground to ground. This is not shooting a basketball in the air. This is not sh uh, throwing a rock off a cliff. This is just if you're going back to the exact same starting point, 45 degrees will get you your maximum range in that situation. All right, that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.